You're here about Mr. Kapinski? Your mother's name was on a list of people he solicited about Willard Tappan. Yeah, uh, so was I. He was trying to get our money back for us. $830,000. Everything my husband left me. We lived on Beekman Place. After my husband died, Johnny used to visit me there and we'd walk to Madison Avenue. Now, here, we don't even have privacy. Do you think the Taffin business had something to do with the murder? We don't know. Poor man. He was our last hope. Well, we were just wondering, did Mr. Kapinski ever ask you for money for his expenses? Yes, he, he asked for $3,000. I didn't have that much, so I just gave him one. I sent him a check just the other day. Do you know who's taking over his cases? Uh, we're not sure. <clears throat> Mr. Curran, had you seen Kapinski lately? No. Um, he said he'd call if he had anything to report. We talked to a dozen people on Kapinski's list. It was a con, all right, but half of them don't even know it yet. He collected tens of thousands of dollars for research. He never showed anyone any hard evidence that he found Tappan's money. What a guy, swindling people who'd already been swindled. Well, you gotta hand it to him. They all had proven track records as victims. Van Buren. Does one of you have a girlfriend in a nursing home? No, oh, that would be Lenny. <laughs> Mrs. Curran and her son lied to you boys. I can't stand liars. Well, we appreciate your help, ma'am. <laughs> so, what if she lived on the east side? You'd think it was Buckingham Palace. Her attitude. We don't get to choose our roommates here, you know. Mrs. Greenfield, what was this lie? Well, Johnny, her son, came to visit her the night before that lawyer was killed. She told him she had good news, a surprise. Surprise? She'd heard from that lawyer. He was going to get her money back. She'd sent him a check. Johnny was furious. He said the lawyer was a confidence man. He had taken Johnny's money, too. And Johnny didn't tell his mother this? He hadn't wanted to upset her. But when he heard that his mother had sent him her last $3,000, Johnny said he would get it back no matter what it took. What do you think? I think she enjoyed double dating with us a lot more than some nursing home attendant. And she doesn't like Mrs. Curran much. I don't think she's making up a story like that. It's making her life a lot more interesting, isn't it? What's interesting is Kapinski's phone log. The day he was shot, John Curran called three times. Three messages. Please call. Urgent. Kapinski was ducking him. Some people don't like that. <laughs> okay, you guys, we need the living room here. Nintendo, off. What are you saying, Mr. Kapinski lied to us? He was milking you and about 50 other people with a phony story about finding Tappan's money. Oh my God. It's all right, we'll be okay. We're thinking maybe this didn't come as a complete surprise to you, Mr. Kern. Of course it does. We were counting on him. We were going to move. You didn't tell her? Well, maybe I suspected he wasn't doing everything he said he was. I didn't see any reason to worry everybody. Maybe you were a little upset about your mother sending him her last $3,000. Your mother did? When? You said you were waiting for Mr. Kapinski to call, but you called him three times the other day. Yeah, well, my mother was involved. I wanted to see how things were going. Okay, then you wouldn't mind coming down to the precinct for some identification procedure, would you? You don't think Johnny might have killed that man. If he didn't, he'll be back here in an hour. I didn't see him very long. Take your time, Mr. Tanaka. I think number four. You think? Number four. Thank you, Mr. Tanaka. Curran didn't want a lawyer. Yeah, I guess after Kapinski, he had his film. You think that ideal hold up? 
To get a search warrant? Yeah. When's my husband coming home? He's just answering a few questions for us. Does your husband own a gun? A gun? I won't keep one in the house. Oh. Homer Tappan on his 100-foot yacht. Tappan rents the Temple of Dendur for his daughter's debutante ball. Tappan named to the Businessman's Hall of Fame. Your husband collect these? That man stole all our money. It was the same year Johnny lost his job. He, he was unemployed for 14 months. What's that? Your mother-in-law's check to Mr. Kopinski for $3,000. You really have to see it from our point of view, Johnny. You said you hadn't seen Kopinski for a while. But our witness saw you go in. Heard you shouting. You know that phone call I just had? My partner found the check your mother wrote to Kopinski. It was in your jacket pocket. How did it get there? How did it get from Kapinski's office to your apartment? What, did it fly? Come on, Johnny. You found out Kapinski was fleecing your mother after he had already fleeced you and you got mad. Hell, I would have gotten mad. May I please call my wife? As soon as we're finished here. Let's just wrap this all up. So you went downtown to get your mother's money back. What happened? Did Kapinski stall you? No. Did he laugh at you? No. I give up. What happened? He gave me the check back. You went down to Kapinski's and he gave you the check, huh? That's what happened. Well, you know, that's just not the kind of fellow we heard he was, Johnny. However, did you persuade him? I... He just gave it back to me. I think, I think I'd like to see a lawyer now. Do you believe it? No. That's good enough for me. Don Curran, you're under arrest for the murder of Arthur Kopinski. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can or will be used to